Mark, chime on in your initial reaction to what we heard from the court, 9-0. Well, I'll put it a little more pointedly than my uh, than my colleagues uh, here who are brilliant legal analysts. I'll take the political perspective on it. This is a huge repudiation of the left's effort to legitimize, delegitimize the Supreme Court and accuse them of being politicized. This is a nine nothing smackdown of the left's efforts to politicize the law. That's what what happened here. And you know, you got to remember the, the the Democrats have been running a campaign for years since uh, since these conservative justices were appointed to delegitimize the court. Chuck Schumer stood on the steps of that Supreme Court in 2020, and he said to Kavanaugh and Gorsuch, "You have released the whirlwind, and you will pay the price. You will not know what hit you when you go forward with these awful awful decisions." Mm -hmm. They have been trying to delegitimize this court, and this is a repudiation of the left's efforts. To politicize our law, this is this is this is uh, you know the abusing the Constitution in order to kick a candidate off the off of the ballot is an abuse of our of, of our system, and you've got a situation now where so many people on the left and many Democrats seem to think that their argument seems to be Donald Trump is such a threat to our democracy that we need to burn down our democracy in order to save it, that we need to tear down the institutions. It doesn't matter what uh, they do. It doesn't matter what's standing in the way. If an institution is in the, in the way, we're going to tear it down and we're going to stop him from getting on the ballot. And in a way, they're more of a threat to our democracy than he is. Because you know, if you look at January 6th, mm -hmm. all our institutions held. Everybody did their jobs. There was no chance Donald Trump was going to hold on to the on to the uh, on to the presidency. But if you tear down the institutions, then someone could one day threaten our democracy because the institutions are the, are the guardrails that preserve our democracy, and we need to preserve them. And the Supreme Court just preserved one of the important guardrails of our democracy. You know, I wanted to pick up on that because, you know, as I mentioned before, like the left is making things harder for Biden and Kamala Harris to be able to gain in the polls because they're pulling them constantly in a direction that is against what the majority of Americans want. And you can see this on crime. And look at the outcomes that we have on there after all of these liberal DAs. Yep. Look at immigration. That's now the number one issue across the country. Why? Well, because of all the executive orders President Biden used to dismantle what President Trump had put in place. You look at Israel. Climate, energy, I could go on. And, Mark, I just wonder if yeah. somebody at the White House or at the campaign is saying, guys, we have to do something here if we even want to make this competitive in November. Yeah, I mean, if you want to look at why, why Joe Biden is in so much trouble, look at the number 91. Nine, 91 indictments and 91 executive orders overturning Trump's border policies. Those two things together could deliver Donald Trump the presidency. I mean, if you think about the, if you're a Democrat, you watched uh, in 2016 as Donald Trump rode the issue of illegal immigration to the, to the presidency. So you get the White House back and what do you do? You unleash the worst border crisis in American history and you think that's not going to help him? And then you've got 91 indictments. Charles Manson had 10. <laughs> I mean, the idea and the civil suits to try and destroy his to, to, to destroy his uh, his him financially. This 14th Amendment effort in, in what Bill said, nine states to try, to try and kick him off the ballot. It makes the American people look at this and they think these people are crazy. Yep. You know, they, 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 they make themselves look more of a threat to democracy than Trump. And so when you get yeah, the yeah. question of saving our democracy on the ballot, it's not just it's not just liberals. I, I, it's Republicans know, Mark, who are I, saying I, we, we got to save our democracy. I take your argument one step further. If, if people outside of New York paid attention to how the legal system has bent itself into some twisted mess of legal steel, to, to try and nail him on this, that, and the other. I mean, the list is really long. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.